Hi, my name is Sean Chan, founder of Ice for Everest. When we came to the Kunde Hospital back in 2013, there were some donated glasses, a vitometer, and a very broken traveling set from 1966. Kami Temba told us that there was kids that couldn't see the board, so we tried to use that afternoon to teach the Sherpas basically how to measure the power of the glasses, you know, how to use the trial lens set. But we knew basically in that afternoon that more had to be done. Initially when we came back to Australia, I told them this story to a few big organizations. Most people wasn't really interested and actually took a friend uh, to tell me that I had to be the person to start something. So we did, you know, I'm quite lucky that through pursuing this journey that we met lots of people who had skills in many different areas. They don't teach you how to make a charity at university. So I couldn't have done it without them as well. Um, in our first eye camp 2014, there was about four of us, three optometrists, one pharmacist, and we were able to get enough sponsorship uh, about $2,200 and that gave us enough for some IKEA equipment. Namaste Saudan Life, Mark Jin Serba. Professionally, I'm an optometrist based in Kathmandu, Nepal. Tomorrow we have the inauguration of our very first eye clinic at Kunde Hospital and we are performing eye tests, uh, three eye camps actually at Kunde. Forche and Pangmuche, so we're not here for travel, we are also here for a mission to provide best eye care services to the locals, to the villagers and to all the Sherpa people. When we went to the hospital, you know, one of the optometrists got sick, so there was only two optons, one pharmacist, and we had to see 152 patients. It was a lot of work. Um, I remember even after two and a half days of testing, there were still lots of people waiting outside at 5 p.m. And a lot of them were kids. Some of them had walked three to four hours to see us. And now because of us, they had to walk home in the dark. When we came back for our second eye camp in 2015, there was a lot more uh, volunteers, a total team of about 13 people. And I quickly realized on that trip that one person trying to organize such a large group was actually quite difficult. So difficult that when I got to Nanche, I was altitude sick. That particular trip taught me that we needed to create a system so that we could delegate tasks to different people because there are aspects of the eye camp that is quite repetitive that we could teach other people to do. So that was the time we started thinking about uh, the first Ice for Everest committee. And the committee uh, has a very important role in running our trips. Hi, I'm Myra. I'm an optometrist who's based in Canberra at the moment. 2017, I finally had um, a chance to um, go to one of, uh, one of the trips to the Everest Base Camp and it was just amazing to be able to do the trek as well as just provide the eye care to, and give back to the community. So when uh, Sean approached me in 2020 to join the committee, I was a bit uh, dubious about what I could do in the committee but at the same time I was excited about what um, I saw Everest could do as well. So I did end up joining the committee. And as a committee, we helped Sean with um, sort of the day-to-day -day activities of the charity, including the finances, um, working on projects, and also, also organizing the eye camps. Hello, my name is Lisa, and I'm one of the 2023 volunteers for the Eyes for Everest team. So one of the clinical cases that sticks out to me was a lot of cataracts that I had seen in my time here, which is not unexpected seeing how close um, in, to the sun we are with the altitude. One of the um, significant cases that I noticed was um, this one lady, worse than 680 vision in one of her eyes, 
hadn't had an eye test for more than 10 years. When I had a look inside, it was terrible, mixed cataracts, nuclear, cortical, and PSC. Um, something that I did pick up as well was some macular scarring at the back. So with that, we were able to set her expectation and help her to understand what was happening with her eyes. We told her where to go and how to get the cataract surgery done. And hopefully from there, we can get her seeing much more better, even if with just eccentric fixation. So it really goes to show the impact that Eyes for Everest has on the people of Nepal. Namaste, my name is Mingma Norbu Sherpa. I'm from uh, this area and uh, I work for Himalayan Trust Nepal as the Chief Executive Officer. Uh, I met uh, Eyes for Everest uh, Chairman Sean Chang in 2018 and uh, um, he was uh, doing lots of eye camps in the Kumbu region in coordination with Himalayan Trust and Kunde Hospital. Um, and then uh, we, we thought it's a very uh, awesome program that uh, is so important and useful for the people and the community here. So we wanted to um, organize the ICAM every year and that's why we uh, coordinated uh, Ice for Everest and uh, now we, I'm very happy that uh, Ice for Everest has been supporting our uh, Kunde Hospital Eye Clinic. Hello, yo. I'm in the angle checker. No, man, she's not bad. There is some issues. So, karma does not bad. So, plan checker, karma does not bad. So, there is some issues. I for every I read. I'm in some. Pile, come to fund the port. The pump is at home. So, pile, Ramro Bagosa, the Nepal, Ushibaya. I'm sure that this eye clinic will help all these Kumbu people and villages, also the mountaining people, to keep their eyes safe and see the world in a better way. My name is uh, Dr. Kami Temba Sherpa. I'm from uh, Thami, uh, from this region, and I have been working here as a senior medical uh, doctor uh, for over 25 years. I first met uh, Mr. Sean in December uh, 2013, and um, uh, as he was a qualified uh, optometrist, and um, we had a long chat about how to uh, solve the problem that we have here, especially the refractory error. And as we all know, a refractory, uncorrected refractory error is a major preventable um, visual impairment and disability among the children. And uh, Nepal uh, is um, no different and uh, it is even more serious in this remote part of the regions. And um, we talk um, a lot about it and then um, Sean uh, set up a um, organization uh, called uh, Eye for Ephraim and he did um, uh, up, he did a uh, subsequent visit uh, to the Kubu area and, uh, solve our, and, and um, supported us to solve the problem. Uh, now this year, he set up the uh, cl I, uh, primary eye clinic here in Kunde, and that has been. Um, um, I'm sure we all know that, and we all believe that this will solve uh, the problem in the future. I think, uh, yeah, forming this charity has been a lot of challenges, but also a lot of we, we met a lot of people, which helped join the pieces to make this all possible. You know, I, I can't, yeah, to name them all would be impossible, but I'm forever grateful to them.